Ooh, this is day two, day two of our coronavirus shutdown. So, um, because my mom is so grouchy and stuff, so she needs just to get some fresh air. It's been three weeks, so I'm going to take her to Long's to get her medicine because that is okay. We're allowed to go get her medicine. Just in case, in my purse, I have a whole container of wipes. <laughs> And she's wearing her mask, so we're good. All right. Good thing I have this mask from my painting. Mm hmm Okay, we're ready. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Doesn't she look like a medical person? <laughs> Jay Coca. So we're out and about on this super windy day for um, our lockdown number two. Nema. Day two. A lot of people still, mom, and you. But we have all these wipes. I'm carrying all these wipes. I got the big container in my purse. So this is what it looks like. Longs is open. Thank you, people. Thank you, you guys, for really helping us all out by staying open. Supermarket people and every gas, all of you guys. Essential people, yeah. Thank you. company too I do enter my Safeway codes you know playing my Safeway game hoping to win some money during my uh, low employment low or slash unemployment who knows whichever vacation pay <laughs> so anyway I won five dollars so far you guys it's funny but I got to take all five pieces there so I didn't do that so excuse me I burped so so far I only won five dollars and I think I want, where is it? Of course, we get a bunch of these, right? The free extra ticket. But I want the dollar. Yeah, dollar just for cash code or something. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm going to be into all this Safeway stuff, but, you know, somebody in Hawaii, a lady won maybe, was it last year or the year before she won the 100000 So I'm like, oh, my God, it is possible. I, I hate all these shutterflies. There are a lot of the um, Shutterfly specials, and these you enter the codes in. So I just do it, but what I like about the Safeway game now is I can check off this code with the app. You probably could do it all the time, but I didn't do it. This time I did, so, you know, hell, gotta take the chance, right? I know it takes some time, but I have all day now. Hello, hello, it's day two for us here. Well, today is day three. Yesterday was day two. Um, I still can't wrap my head around this whole thing, you know. I think, I don't know, maybe a lot of you are still feeling like that. I'm constantly wasting my time watching the news. And I go from the local news to the world news, back and forth, back and forth. So today, you know, I do have some paperwork, like I got to pay my car registration, but they're probably so behind. Um, so I'm going to do that uh, tonight. I figure I can do the internet stuff at night. So I'll do editing, I will um, answer my emails and things at night. So I'm trying to give myself better instructions, you know, um, to use my time more wisely. I wanted to order a GoPro 8 because Shinichi, my brother, told me that that one's really good. But I don't know, um, Amazon is uh, um, not delivering anything, yeah? Um, that's not essential. And right now, I shouldn't be spending any money because it's not like I'm going to have that much money soon. Yeah, hopefully my tax return um, will have some money. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take before we even get our tax return, but I'm hoping that I can use some of that money to survive, right? But lucky for me, I'm very, very fortunate. Well, we are very fortunate in this household that Brian still gets to work, you know, because we have a mortgage, you know, and I know a lot of you have a mortgage and it is scary. That'd be added because I still have maintenance to pay at the apartment and the mortgage. You know, I feel so bad for um, our government right now and all of us because no matter what anyone says, how come they don't do this? How come they don't do that? You know, I think what's so hard is just in general, you know, just being on TV, trying to 
help right now like our government and stuff it must just be really um hard and the pressure economy uh, uh lives um he doesn't know what to do i mean I, I i think i would fail completely i mean everyone can say oh you know our president should do this and our president should do that but it's always easy to say kind of after the fact yeah 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 um it's easier said than done it's like i'm watching jeopardy and stuff and i'm like why didn't you know the answer you know will of fortune but if you're there it's probably really different you know like you always say you're gonna do something but when it's that time you don't do it like here's a good example when i was very when i was like a teenager you remember when you guys used to watch like friday the 13th and all that stuff and the bad guy comes chasing after you you're like stupid when the girl's like dropping the key and she can open the door and do all that stuff right and you're just like teasing her right well that happened to me when i was a uh, i think i was in high school I used to work at the Alamoana Shopping Center. Yeah, anyway, high school. And of course, I was. I thought I was so cool because, you know, it's the 80s, right? We wore pumps, right? Uh, life stride pumps. And I don't know. It was just very dressy in the 80s. So anyway, I lived, you know, at the apartment. So that's like minutes from Alamoana. So as a teenager, I would work at Alamoana Shopping Center after school. So I remember I get off like 9 o'clock because uh, when you're a teenager, you can't work past 9. So I think I worked till nine and I walked home. And of course my mom owned the bar and stuff so nobody was ever home. And I think at that time Shinichi was in Japan or Philadelphia already. And so one day I swear to God I heard footsteps. It's not like super quiet, you know, a city. Right by the front entrance. So um, I heard something and I, I, I turned around and the guy just stopped behind me. And so I thought, oh, okay, you know, anything. I was just gonna put the key in the door and he grabbed me from behind okay and i think i had a, like a dress or a skirt top but with heels i know i had heels and i opened my mouth i remember and nothing came out it was just like the movies like i want to scream but i was so scared that nothing i was just petra i couldn't believe i didn't know I mean, from what I remember, I just remember that I was like, so I didn't know what to do, but I wasn't going to go down. My body just started going up. So I fought back and I just remember, um, he kind of stepped back and I just looked at his feet and I just try, kept trying to step on his feet with my heels. I don't know how that was going to do anything, but I did. And he eventually just took off, just took off. So that's what I mean. And after that, I could barely open the door, you know, with the key. So I did exactly what I was criticizing people in the movies, how they, how I'm like thinking I'm better, that I would have done it different. And no, I was just as pathetic. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you know, it's really, really hard, right? But you guys, I want to update you in Hawaii, okay? So poor thing, you guys, there was yesterday on day two, uh, tourists are still here and they can still move about. I think from today, they're gonna be quarantined, but it doesn't count for the ones that's here. Okay, so you're allowed to exercise, which is kind of, I don't know, right? So I don't know where, what this tourist was doing if they were just exercising. But sightseeing, exercising, Waikiki, I think they kind of look the same. So this family of four, I think mom, dad, and I think two young girls or something, I think I saw on the news, were walking by Kapiolani Park. And I guess some local guy got into a verbal thing with them and started saying, why are you here and blah, blah, blah. And it got kind of ugly. It got kind of ugly. I didn't read the whole thing on the news, but I, I heard it got kind of ugly. And you know, it was so sad though, um, because I can see both sides and you know, they, I guess this family, okay, this, the part that doesn't make sense to me is I feel bad about how it happened, but they, they, they really shouldn't be here. <laughs> and they came because it was a good deal. I am so, so shame on you um, companies who are giving cheap airfare just to make money. I mean, shame, shame, shame on you. There's nothing open. They can just take out food, okay? Hotels are shutting down. Why would you put people through this? That's not a vacation. We don't want people to see Hawaii like that. We want them to see Hawaii when things are open, where they can go places, eat at nice restaurants, enjoy the beach, open with no yellow tape. Don't come here, you guys. You're waste. They're like, they, they always want to come to Hawaii or something. So they came. Well, if you really wanted to come to Hawaii, why would you come at a time like this? Why would you put your family through this? 
Oh, it was just so saddening to hear that because the kids were crying. Quarantine now from today, so really, I wonder if I wonder what the news is going to say if there was anybody who is going to be quarantined the arrivals today. I mean, I wonder, I wonder if that's really happening. So I decided to uh, keep myself company as first. Okay, so this is my tips on let's see how we can help you guys. Well, let's help all of us not go cuckoo, right? Okay. Um, I don't have little kids to entertain me. Uh, right now, you know, that would be nice, but yet I guess it would be hard because you also have to entertain them and Where could you go? You know, so that's a good and bad. I kind of love the sound of children the joy I, I have so much joy hearing kids and laughter and stuff. So But on the other hand, you know, that's a lot of work So I really give you credit for those of you who do have to watch little ones That's a lot of hard work. That is well, I kind of have one. Yeah, a big little one over there mom. Yeah, so uh, number one, go, you guys, when you get out of bed, okay, make sure, um, sorry, my hair looks bad, but make sure you wash your face, you guys, make sure you brush your teeth, make sure you change your clothes, don't sit in your pajamas all day, I think that can cause depression, okay, comfort, maybe just day one, but day two, get up, okay, gotta see the sunlight, we gotta get some vitamin D in Hawaii, if you're in Hawaii, we go outside, but it's kind of been cloudy, Cloudy, rainy, windy, super windy, so it's not very fun. Um, you know, make some goals. Um, like for me, I think um, next time I go to the store, I'm going to see if I can get um, seeds from UH, you know, the seed packets, and concentrate on working on um, making garden because this kind of stuff go down again, you guys. We should have some of our own food if you can. You know, those of you who live in apartments and stuff like that, there's pots. There's um, grow, growing kits, you know, on Amazon. But we really, really, I mean, it'd be nice to get a nice pretty one on your kitchen counter or something. Can teach your kids about growing food and stuff. But we got to learn. We have to learn from the people who are surviving really well, who who have their own food and, and stuff. And, and learn to appreciate that kind of stuff, what... Um, what the land has given us. I think we got to go back to basics sometimes, right? So I really suck, you guys know, at gardening. So I need all the help I can get. So I have to work on it. And my mom, you know, has her cucumbers. And, you know, so it's kind of windy. So we got to all figure it out. But that's what maybe we should all start planning down the road, see? So things like that. And then you can do it like a family thing too. Because with the kids, right? You don't have to grow outside. We can grow indoor. You know, those growing kits on Amazon. My girlfriend said she bought one and she's growing like herbs and everything because there's no bugs. There's less bugs. So she loves it and she's got her cilantro all nice. Like for me, if I grow cilantro, it's easy, either got killed by the sun in one day and it's flat and dry. Or the wind has knocked and everything's like leaning over. So... I, I don't know, maybe after I organize this office a little bit, I might get one of those Amazon grow kits. I think that would be a great idea because um, I love having my cilantro, you know, make my wonton and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Just having the herbs, I think, at basil, right at your fingertips um, is good. So that kind of stuff, too, um, I decided I'm going to try and clean one area at a time. Okay, you can't do the whole house. So just now, um, I, got, I took a break, okay? So now I'm going to go back, you know, and I'm going to clean um, my bathroom and my bedroom. And I do it thoroughly. Yes, of course, you know, I'm a little bit cuckoo. I actually wiped down the cabinets with... And um, the toilet. I just put some um, toilet cleaner. So I'm letting it sit right now. I took the shower curtains off and I'm going to go soak that in some Clorox because I can't buy shower curtains right now. Um, Amazon won't send it. And I have really high... Um, ceilings in a bathroom so the curtains have to be long and also it's because brian's six two so he doesn't want the curtains here you know just like the shower heads up here for him because where i used to live at the townhouse before i had the bathroom renovated the shower head used to hit him right here so when he took a shower it was like <laughs> so that that was a bad view huh so it didn't look good yeah it wasn't com i mean not look good it just wasn't comfortable for him. Okay, you guys get it. I better shut up now. Okay, so I'm going to come back uh, this evening after I finish the day and we'll catch up. I'm going to tell you what happened. Okay, I'm going to go read the news and can read the juicy stuff and I can update you what's going on in Hawaii. Okay, all right, see you guys. Okay, I went to Costco. Costco was 
empty but not kind of empty there was still a lot of people going on of course a lot of things are gone which is really sad of course i never ever see toilet paper anymore for months or any kind of paper it had no paper product boom none okay and i think i really think because the seniors get to get them all because they have kapuna hours which means the seniors have special hours they get to go in before everybody else goes in. But when you watch the news, they all got their family and like a bunch of people with them. So it's really crowded. The news had asked for people not to bring the whole family. Hawaii is like that. Sometime, one time I went to Kaiser Hospital when I was giving birth or something. And the family wakes up the whole family. I, I think I saw a up in family there and they had like the kids, the grandkids or something. I mean, there was like, I swear there was like six of them at the hospital and they take all six chairs yeah so patients can't even sit on the chairs that's what happened one time it was not very good i was like you gotta be kidding right oh, I, I was telling my, my girlfriend barbie said she bought like a bidet on amazon and she can't get it because it's kind of sold out or it's gonna take forever to come because i don't know if they consider that essential so i had told her if worse comes to first worse if she runs out of toilet paper just get herself a ketchup bottle the mustard bottle the little plastic cheap ones and she goes what are you talking about i just said fill them with water and just shoot yourself down over the toilet like a bidet make sure it's clean and you shoot yourself and she thought i was crazy but i told her look when i gave birth to my oldest boy i remember at kaiser i had you know it was sore down there. So the doctor gave me um, like the sits bath thing and they gave me this squeezable tube with water. You fill it up with warm water and you shoot yourself down. For me, I had to shoot myself down before I, as I was going to pee so it doesn't hurt, you know, because, you know, after you give birth. Okay, so anyway, TMI. What I'm saying is it's the same thing. You just like a bidet, but you're just shooting the water. Just don't shoot straight up where it's going to come down. Just shoot a little bit so it's clean, right? All you need to do is clean. What do you, what, I mean, unless you got a whole national forest down there, you know, then that's on you. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just saying that there are options. You know, you can do that. I know that sounds really weird, but you can. Um, some stuff, um, just to let you know, I, I noticed in Hawaii we had some food specials. A lot of restaurants are doing specials like buy one, get one free. Yeah. Look at Kuma Kicha. Isn't he cute? He sits right here. So it's like a buy one, get one free. You can do, yeah. Like Panda, I think they have a special right now for like three entrees. So the big three large sides and I think two of the, the noodles or the rice, two large ones like that for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. So um, I know our family's gonna get that, you know, and because we gotta support or these restaurants won't even stay open too, right? For takeout. We gotta support them and give them some kind of a business <clears throat> and uh um what else other than that um you know kind of dangerous i took my mom out make her use wipes for everything because i'm really really scared uh yeah i didn't feel comfortable you know like when you're walking i know a lot of you probably know so when you see someone you like make eye contact and everyone starts walking kind of <laughs> away from each other but yet, you know, you guys, people are so nice. I think a lot of people were really nice during this time. I think all of us are um, caring more. You know, I think hopefully after this whole thing is done, we'll all learn something. I'm hoping that the world will be a nicer place. I we, We're all in it together, right? I mean, come on, right? We were all teasing China at one time before the Americans, the Westerners were teasing the China, then Asia, and now look, the table turn. See, bachi, bachi, right? So, pointing fingers, it's not good. It's, it's not good. You know, it comes back to you too. We can't be like that. We should, I mean, we, should, we just have to care about each other. Yeah. I mean, it sucks, but I mean, look, we, I mean, hard for me to complain about you no know, job money right now because so do a lot of other people. Many people suffering. Some people are suffering more. They have small kids and stuff. So I can't really say anything. I mean, I have shelter. You know, one thing good in Hawaii that I noticed was good, I was watching on the news that the state had found an old apartment building that they own. And they're cleaning that out and make it all nice so that the homeless have a place to stay who have coronavirus or 
who have what the COV19 yeah it's nice for the to help the homeless who have caught the disease it's really hard uh, right now. Um, my brother, my brother, um, by the way, wasn't feeling too good. Um, I didn't hear an update. Hope it's just the regular flu or whatever he's got right now. Uh, I didn't hear from him today, but my mom talked to Satoshi. And uh, it seemed like it was going to be okay right now. Well, Satoshi thought thinks it's just more of a regular flu or something versus the coronavirus yeah my brother gets sick every year like ever since we're kids i mean he always always got sick i was the one who never got sick but of course when i got i get sick i get like sick sick but it doesn't happen that often yeah so anyway you guys um we will catch up again um i will keep keep you posted on what's going on i'm trying to find projects around the house to do right now Oh, I was thinking maybe I should make a resume and go look for a job, but there's really nothing to do. I mean, I look and a lot of the jobs posted are like 20 days ago, 30 days ago, so not very um, good right now. Find some, we gotta watch some good movies. You know, Netflix always has good movies, so does Prime, thank goodness. Terrace House comes up, um, part three, the Terrace House. Those of you who do watch that, um, like me, that one comes out, I think, April 7th. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys, I hope um, you guys are all eating well and keeping warm. I heard there's another storm coming on the mainland. Be careful. Hawaii, we're looking at just some thunderstorms coming up soon. If I'm building a planter like a gardening table for my mom in the back right now with some leftovers because we can't go to the store so i'm trying to use my leftover wood around the house for some stuff you know just just organizing you know you always say you don't have time so i gotta try and make up the time i don't want to just sit there and watch tv all the time just trying to get away from social media uh while i'm working during the day because um it helps me mentally and if not, I'll just read about the... I read the same thing. My anxiety just makes me... I just waste so much time reading the same thing about the coronavirus that just makes me depressed and sad. So, uh, step aside, you guys, from that sometimes. Yeah? Unless you're doing the exercise. The Hawaii boy um, that I saw on the news who does, um, like, dancing and exercise and yoga and he seems to make people really really happy so he's spreading the aloha don't you just love that when people spread the aloha yeah oh and they were saying that we had uh, a quarantine by the way started on thursday we still had visitors yeah can you believe it and what how they're gonna attract them i'd like to see that nah. you gotta be kidding how are you gonna track visitors yeah i mean that's crazy so they were saying that we had like 200. I know it's kind of weird because when I look at the DOT, the Department of Transportation Daily Arrivals, it says we had like a lot. So I was kind of confusing how, um, but they were saying, yeah, in Hawaii, we had, uh, let's see, the news said we had, I think we had like two, 268 visitors still came on the first day of our mandatory quarantine. No clue like where they're gonna stay. I think they should put a lock on the door from the outside so they can't leave the hotel room. I don't know, there should be no business unless that's like a fire hazard, I guess, yeah. But I don't know, I mean, I don't want them leaving because I really think that they're, I mean, after they spent hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars to come here, you think they're just gonna stay in their room? I doubt it. I doubt it. And, you know, just so dumb. And, you know, it's really, really sad. Um, we have, like, a, a drive through vet place now at this one vet. So nice. She did a drive. She does a drive through So they take your dog from you. And I guess you don't have to get out of the car and stuff like that. They take care of your pet. So I thought that was really, really nice. Um, so the um, vets, some of them have drive through service, which is I thought was so cool. Uh, we are worried about, you know, losing our health care insurance. Me too. I don't know if Brian could add me, like, in the middle 
you know of the year how that goes our public schools i think um they're waiving graduation requirements which is shocking but the seniors are just going to graduate but i think it's um I think it's just sad that some of these seniors are really going to miss out on a lot of the stuff that we got to do when we graduated. But again, many, many people are losing everything. My old, my youngest son, he's not going to be able to walk for graduation at UH too, you know. Sad, you know. We're so excited that he's going to graduate there. But oh well, you know, just be happy that he can graduate, I guess. Um, people were supposed to get married. Funerals, can you imagine? Funerals. I mean, I thought about that. Like, if something happened, what do you do? I guess the best thing for me, I thought if something happened, just cremate, right? And just keep the ashes till the time comes when this is all over and then do something small. Oh, oh so then this great um, dancer that I was telling you guys that you guys got to watch. I thought he was so cute. Miki, Miki, M-K-I-K-808 on Instagram. He's so cute. He wears all these rainbow colors and dances around and... And um, I don't know, online dance party. I think it's really good. We need um, more people like him. Yeah, more people like him to lift your spirits. You know, we gotta lift the spirits. Oh, so, you know, something like that. So anyway, I'm gonna go uh, keep you posted again. That's my husband cutting grass outside so we will go over it okay let's find some interesting subjects to talk about other than just this i do need to find some something more uplifting to discuss all right so i will go finish i gotta do some paperwork and then some organizing of the house so we will chat later okay you guys take care you have a good uh weekend bye oh.